we want to use the ratio test to determine if the series converges or diverges. To apply the ratio test, if we have the summation of a sub n with the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n equals L, then if L is less than one, the infinite series converges. If L is greater than one, then the infinite series diverges. And if L equals one, the test fails, and we have to apply a different test. And the ratio test is often helpful when the series involves an exponential or a factorial. Notice here, we have an exponential in a sub n, where a sub n is equal to n to the fourth divided by 1.5 raised to the power of n, and therefore a sub n plus one would be equal to the quantity n plus one to the fourth divided by 1.5 raised to the power of n plus one. So now we'll find the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n. But actually, instead of dividing by a sub n, we'll multiply by the reciprocal of a sub n instead. So we'll have the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one would be the quantity n plus one to the fourth divided by 1.5 to the n plus one power. And again, instead of dividing by a sub n, we'll multiply by the reciprocal of a sub n. So we'll multiply by 1.5 raised to the power of n divided by n to the fourth. Notice here we have a common base of 1.5. We have n factors of 1.5 in the numerator and n plus one factors of 1.5 in the denominator. So we have one more factor of 1.5 in the denominator. So this would simplify to one. This would simplify to just one factor of 1.5. So the simplified limit would be the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of we have the quantity n plus one to the fourth divided by 1.5 n to the fourth. Notice how if we multiply the numerator out, we'd have a degree four polynomial. The denominator is also degree four, and therefore the limit as n approaches infinity is equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients, which would be one divided by 1.5. To show a little more work, notice how if we multiply the numerator out, The highest degree term would be n to the fourth, which is the only term that matters when determining this limit as n approaches infinity. So we don't need any of the other terms. And we have 1.5 n to the fourth in the denominator. So again, the degree of the numerator and denominator are the same. And therefore this limit is equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients, which would be one divided by 1.5 or one divided by 1.5 is equivalent to three halves. So this is equivalent to one times the reciprocal of three halves, so times two thirds. So the limit equals two thirds, which is less than one. So because the limit is less than one, by the ratio test, the infinite series converges. So we'll say by the ratio test, since the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n equals two thirds, which is less than one, the series converges. I hope you found this helpful.